Thankfully for the Thanksgiving travel rush, most of the country is pretty quiet. That is expected to change, though, after we get beyond Thanksgiving. The Caribbean hasn't been that quiet, though. We are dealing with thunderstorms across parts of the Windward Islands and over Central America. We're going to talk about that and then look way into the future to get ready to go into December and see if there's any potential tropical development in that region. We're going to break down that new system that could bring snow to parts of the southern plains after Thanksgiving. We're also going to talk about the Caribbean as we remain unsettled. Speaking of which, we're going to talk about the potential for some tropical development as we flip the page from November to December. I would love to know what the weather is doing, where you are watching from. Post that in the comments below, and don't forget to leave your location. Also, while you're at it, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out a lot. I have seen a lot of posts, and I have gotten a lot of questions about a few rogue, what I would consider outlandish model runs in the Caribbean. Well, I do think we're going to have the potential for some tropical development there as we get into late November, early December. I think the strength is going to be on the weaker side. We're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. All of the cold that invaded a lot of the country has started to retreat. We're more in that zonal flow now, that west to east movement of the jet stream. Watch what happens post Thanksgiving. We're looking at the day before Thanksgiving, Wednesday into Thanksgiving Day, and you see this little dip in the jet stream, this little nub digging down into Texas. It then gets cut off from the main jet stream flow that is rolling across the northern tier of the country. So while I think a lot of the country on Thanksgiving is going to be on the quiet side, the one area of concern would be across the plains. There are still some details that would need to be ironed out with how this potential system could come together, but it could be pretty impactful for places like Texas and Oklahoma. This would be getting into Friday, Saturday, and into early Sunday. On Thanksgiving Day, we're talking about some heavy rain in East Texas and into Louisiana, Arkansas. That's part of that developing system. Watch what happens, though, as we move into Friday. You see the secondary portion of this develop on the north side of Texas into the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle. Yeah, we're talking about the potential for some snowfall with this as we move into Friday and especially on Saturday right underneath where that upper low sets up. It's only going to be underneath that upper low, so it's critical to forecast where exactly that is going to set up. Again, that will be fine-tuned, but right underneath these big upper lows, air rises very quickly. That helps to cool the column, as we call it. And again, you get that dynamic cooling to help produce that snow. That was the European representation of the snowfall amounts that could be north of a foot. GFS painting a similar picture in terms of the amount of snow, which likely is overdone a little bit in spots, but you see it's a little further south and west. It's going to be critical to find out when exactly this upper low cuts off and where exactly it moves to. We are not talking about snow, of course, in the Caribbean, but some unsettled weather continues with a few of these embedded tropical waves inside of the intertropical convergence zone. These will continue to push their way, especially towards the Windward Islands over the next couple of days. I see it getting darker on the right side of your screen because we are losing the sun on the visible satellite. But we'll continue to see isolated thunderstorms through the Windward Islands as we move into Tuesday. That is going to include places like St. Lucia, getting into Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, and all of the above again for us in the Windward Islands. It has been really unsettled through Central America, especially in and around Panama, San Jose, getting into Honduras and Nicaragua as well. You see all these thunderstorms. This is the visible satellite again in the extreme Western Caribbean flare up of more thunderstorms just north of us in Panama. Again, same kind of deal. The ITZZ, that intertropical convergence zone, continues to hang out right about here as the winds from the northeast meet up with the winds from the south and east and just bubble up those thunderstorms right in there. We're going to continue to keep things unsettled for us in northern South America through Central America, really for the next couple of days. While the weather is certainly impactful in the Windward Islands and through Central America, the good news is we're not talking about anything organized coming away, at least tropically speaking, in the short term. Now, post-Thanksgiving, that could be a different story. We're going to get into that in a couple of minutes. But this is the model forecast here getting into your Tuesday morning. And you see the little lightning ticks there. Those are the white things on your screen. And that represents where we're going to have the opportunity for isolated thunderstorms. And that is really going to continue for us into the Windward Islands. So Castries, Fort de France, Kingston, Bridgetown, and Barbados. 
through all the way through Trinidad and Tobago as well, St. George's. We're going to have that isolated thunderstorm chance all the way through Tuesday. You see the darker greens popping up. We're going to keep that chance rolling with us right on through Wednesday before we try to quiet things down Thursday into Friday. For us in the Leeward Islands, I do think we'll see a few more passing clouds, but the wetter weather should remain to our south. Now, the question becomes, once we get towards the last weekend of November and into the first couple of days of December, can we get something to isolate itself from that main intertropical convergence zone? If that doesn't happen, then we will not likely see any development. But some of these models and the ensembles continue to hint that we will have that opportunity Again, post-Thanksgiving. So here we go, 28th and 29th. You see those circles start to pop up in the extreme Western Caribbean, kind of where Central America has been getting battered by just routine thunderstorms. We'll have the opportunity for some tropical development. You see more circles coming into play as well as we move into the 30th of November and then eventually into December 1st. So we are going to watch. Again, there's just disorganized thunderstorms in the Caribbean right now. It's once we get into the last weekend of November, that's when we might be able to see a cluster kind of detach from that main stream of thunderstorms in the ITCZ. We'll keep a close eye on that for you. But again, there's nothing imminent and likely anything in the Caribbean that does develop wouldn't be able to get too terribly strong. But we have our eyes on it. If you liked this video, if you liked the content, and if you like tracking the weather, we would love to have you on board in this weather community. Please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button. And we will catch you next time.